Rick B's Daily Vlogs. Standing at the top of Pacific Heights. With a good view of the bay across the way. It is time to get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs, here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood because there's a famous house that I'm looking at right now. It's been here almost forever. Check this out. Right over here on Webster and Broadway, you have the Boren Mansion. Boren Mansion, Boarding Mansion, Clicker Bricks stands out among the Victorian houses here in the Pacific Heights. William Bourne II was said to be the richest man in San Francisco, inheriting a fortune in mining and later building PG&E. He's the founder of the Pacific Gas and Electric, and in fact, even one of the richest men in the world when he built his Grand Anise townhouse right here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood. It's a modest, standard 27-room mansion. It was built in 1896 by Willis Polk. And yes, Polk is the guy that named Polk Street is named after. A massive piece of bricklayers and stonement arts. The mansion was one of the elaborate buildings born owned. Has its almost an identical house somewhere in Grass Valley, California. This house withstood the 1906 earthquake and it's right here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood. How cool is that? Looking at it from the side view you can't really tell it's a 27 room mansion but back in 1896 when they said 27 rooms they count a small room as a room but check that out Look at the artistry that was put up into this. And if I zoom in right there, right on the other side of those wires or those electrical wall lines, you can see some lions. How cool is that? Look at the chimney. Let's go across the street. Let's go check this out a little closer. I'm standing kind of sort of across the street or underneath it, but look at the way the chimney looks. Chimney, all that nice design the chimney has. The other chimney over there, it's a little, little different than the one over here looks, but man, just imagine the brick, the time, the effort they put into this house. The Boren Mansion, Boren, like Jason Boren. Let's get a little closer look at this area. And look at, look at the turn of the century bricks that was laid up on here. You can see the brick house and how the bricks are all just the way it was laid back in the 1800s. And look at that right there. It's a little scary looking. Man, this house withstood the 1906 earthquake. And it's still here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood. How cool is that? How cool is that? There's a little side entrance right here. Not gonna look because it's private property. But man, this is a nice piece of San Francisco history right here. Again, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look how nice that front door looks. It's just the wood design on there, the awning on top, the little balcony right up there. And if you look at the balcony and look at the designs on that side, and compare it to the one on that side. There are two different types of designs, but still pretty cool and interesting. Oh, look at the first one I showed you up there. That's the first one I showed you from a distance. Look at that. And then look at that. Two different designs right there. 
kind of scary. Then if we look all the way to the top, we see the lions. Oh, scary. Coming across the street, checking it out even more, but this looks like it has four fireplaces. I showed you the two on the right side, and then there's two more on this side. So this is probably a big, big mansion up in here. Now the sad story about this house that in the 70s, San Francisco and the mansion saw its share of porn, drugs, and a person by the name of Arden Van, Van Up used to be a classy guy, ended up having a lot of swinging parties, porn parties, and was into lavish life when it came to good drugs, good food. Eventually, after all that ended, the house fell into pretty much nobody lived in here for the longest time. Homeless people would come in here, squat, live in this house that used to belong to William Bourne and just fell in disarray. The bank couldn't do really nothing with it. Homeless people lived in there. And this was in 1998. 2010, someone decided to come in here, clean everything up, take it back to its glory days, and was sold at auction. And if you're in the Pacific Heights neighborhood, you know this house sold for at least over $1 million. At least over $1 million. But it's here. Pretty cool. Yep, we're looking at it on this side of the house. And again, you can see by looking at it, there is two chimneys right there. And then they look like they have that back house right over there. And behind the house, can't really see from where I'm standing, but if I zoom in right there, there's a little part of the house back there that I'm not sure what it is. But man, 27 bedrooms in here. Back in the 70s, you had lavish drugs and porn that was going on in here. And then the homeless lived in here. If you're a homeless person and you're living in this house back in the 90s, you're lucky. You're lucky, but I'm glad it's cleaned up and I'm glad a rich person owns it. I guess I'm glad a rich person owns it because I can't own it. No way. Just think of all the spirits and the hauntings that's going around in this house. Just imagine that. Imagine that. Another San Francisco adventure here. It's windy today, so I got the lapel mic on, hoping the sound is nice and good today. But man, you got that house right behind me right there. Richard Bourne, founder of PG&E, founder of the Pacific Gas and Electric, lived right there, right in that house. Before the Van Gup, I forget what his name is, before he bought it, desecrated it, Turned it into the whorehouse, pornography, swingers, drugs. Again, I'm glad. I'm glad it's back to its glory days. It looks really nice to where, to where it is. It does. It does. All right, guys. Pacific Heights neighborhood. Don't go knocking on that door. Don't go bothering the people that lives there because... It's just the exterior of the house that I'm showing you guys. I don't know nothing about the interior. Don't go bo bothering them, asking them what's inside or what it looks like. Because I'm not. I'm not. I'll show you guys pictures of what it looks like. Here, check this out, what it looks like inside. Pretty cool, right? All this lavish looking stuff on what it used to be. But guys, Pacific Heights neighborhood is cold, it's windy. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Big shout out to Cheryl and Cheryl's vlogs, Cheryl's ventures. There's some days that I just don't feel like doing this. I don't. She reminded me that, you know, us smaller YouTubes, tubers, we have to get out. We have to put out our stuff that, that we're interested in. We have to be the creator that we are. I needed that motivation. I needed to hear that today. And I'm glad she told me that. Cheryl, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But man... Check out that house, right there. Right here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood. A house that was once owned by the man who created PG&E that we all use, because we all need gas and electric, right?
All right, guys. Thumbs up. Leave me comments down below. I'm trying to find other areas that I'm going to vlog about this week. It's kind of a crazy week for us this week. We got a lot of things going on, but I'll find some way to get things done. Trust me, I will. The San Francisco adventure continues. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up. Leave me comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Subscribing is free. It's not going to cost you anything. Maybe some time. You don't have to hit that bell icon because I vlog every day. And I post every day. So just come to my channel about 8 o'clock every morning. And you'll be able to see what I post on a daily. I will. I will. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. I wondered if they filmed any of those 70s porns back in the days in here. I wonder. I made this.